Having to work with multiple control points on your T-spine forms can be a bit tedious at times, time consuming, and most importantly, it can be difficult to get the desired results. So Fusion actually provides many tools for dealing with vertices. We want to work on this handle for this hammer, not quite the shape that we want. But let's start by actually suppressing the actual hammer portion itself. So I'm just going to right click on it within the timeline and I'm going to select suppress feature. So it's still there, it's just so that we can focus right in on the handle. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the form in the timeline. So we edit the sculpt environment working on the handle. Instead of using the ribbon in this case, let's use the right click menu because it provides the exact same options. So instead of having to travel up to the ribbon, you can right click and access the same options. And let's use the weld vertices. Weld vertices allows you to take multiple points and actually merge them together. You can see the vertex to vertex option. What this does is actually merges the two points together, moving the first selection to merge with the second selection. So the first point actually remains fixed, it's the second point that moves. So let's take this point, this point, and you can see how it's brought those two points together. Now let's undo that, and let's change the option here to vertex to midpoint. And what this does is it still welds and merges the selected points, but at the exact middle point along the surface between the two points. So let's take this point, that point, and notice how it's merged them right in the middle between the points. So I could continue here. Now because of the symmetry, it's going to apply on both sides and do the same thing with the last two here. And where there used to be eight points, we now have four. Where there was five points before, we've actually got 10. Now the last option here is weld to tolerance. Now you can select multiple points with a window selection, preferably, and even invisible ones and they will be merged based on the tolerance. So within the range, then they get merged together. So using this option, I could window select. You can see it's selected on both sides. And you can see that none of the vertices are within the tolerance. They're too far apart. So there's nothing there to be merged. So let's actually clear our selection. Let's just select these ones at the bottom. Again, we got the same problem, but what if I was to increase the tolerance? So by increasing the tolerance, they're now within the range and you can see those are being merged together. Let's drop our tolerance to two and I'm going to window select all the points here and you can see that they're within range. So it's actually merged them together. So that's the weld vertice option. Now let's undo that because that's not actually the results that I wanted, but perhaps looking at the side here, I've got a point here and I've got a point there. Maybe we'd like to bring those together. So I'm actually going to go back to the midpoint option and let's merge those together along that edge. So now I'm starting to get a better result, more appropriate to what I was thinking. So even though I've got less points, it's more of the shape that I want and provides the control that I need.